Welcome to my course for solving a proportion. What I'd like to do is just kind of make a quick video on what are some things you'll need to know to be able to uh, be successful within this course. And remember, solving a proportion is basically a fraction equal to another fraction. But a lot of the problems that we're going to be doing in this course are going to be a little bit more difficult than just thinking of you know, a fraction equal to another fraction. So some things walking into this course that I think are essential for you to understand is solve equations, basically linear equations. Do you know how to solve a linear equation, be it a one step, a two step? a multi-step with variables on the same side or a multi-step with variables on both sides. So it's very, very important that you know how to do both solve equations in both all of those different types of formats. Simplify expressions. A lot of times when we're going to uh, be solving our proportion, you know, if we cross multiply or multiply by our LCM, um, we're still going to want to simplify. And that you know, kind of also goes into solving your equations, um, your, your multi-step equations. You're going to have to simplify. You're going to have to apply distributive property. You're going to have to um, combine like terms. So making sure that you understand how to do that is, will be very, very important for this course. The next thing, my preferred method for solving a proportion is multiplying by the LCD or LCM. Basically, the LCD remembers the least common denominator. When we're talking about the least common denominator, that is going to be the value that the smallest multiple that both of your denominators will divide into, which a lot of times we can also call our least common multiple, the smallest number that both of your denominators um, divide into. And to, so to eliminate them, you just multiply both sides of your equation by that LCM, and that eliminates your fraction, and then you have a linear equation that you can solve. However, some teachers and students still love to do the cross multiplication, um, which is a great way to kind of remember how to do it and why we do it. The problem with cross multiplication, the way I see it, is students really don't understand why we do cross multiplication or why we do it or how we do it. And so then they just remember whenever there's anything with fractions and multiplication, they just want to cross multiply. So, uh, but that's still a good method and you know, a good easy way to kind of remember what you're supposed to be doing. So you know, it is something that obviously we're going to learn, but if you know of cross multiplying before you get to this curse, course, that's a positive. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just some basic things that you need to know for solving proportions. Thanks.